Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am the Smart Sign of Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Supergirl Season 3, Episode 13 called Both Sides Now. So we start off with Supergirl at uh, the girl's house. Her name is Julia. And the girl is just kind of minding her own business and singing. And this is the world killer. And um, when Supergirl gets to her, she's so shocked and is freaking out. Then Alex holds a gun to her. And then she starts to transform into the, um, to the world killer accomplice person. And then creates pandemonium everywhere. The whole house vibrates. Everything's going crazy. And she's having sonic screams. So, so, uh, so Supergirl um, uses the ice breath to help block it out and gets John to uh, go through that and to um, handcuff her. So they do that. And then we cut to where uh, Sam talks to Lena and about um, how she... Uh, and talk about how they first met at the first time. Um, she'll, Sam was the vice president, of a, vice president of a company, and she was still in her office at 3 a.m., and Lena saw that drive and wanted to work with her, and that's when she did the tor corporate takeover for that company. And then uh, Lena tells her, like, you've been through a lot, just take the day off and just go out and do something fun. And so uh, she does that, and then um, we cut to where Wynn found a kryptonite. I think they call it a cash stick, but I don't think that's right, but it's one of those things that you can put into, like, um, the Fortress of, Sol of Solitude as part of the fort with it. So it's some type of communication device. So, uh, and then, um, then Alice and Wynn are both concerned about Supergirl because she seems off. And she, uh, she's just worried about Julie because it's like two different people. And so she just wants to get to get through to Julia, not this other person. Then we cut to where Monel needs John's help uh, repairing the, his ship. Then we cut to where uh, Supergirl voices her concerns to Alex. Alex is not, ha not really having it, but she agrees to do it her way. But she says, when it fails, we're doing it my way. So Supergirl talks to Julia, and Julia wants to be called Scolding Light slash Purity. And then uh, Sam picks up Ruby, and they are going to go ice skating. And then we cut to where John and Monel and Wynn are on the ship trying to do repairs, but it's not working out. For some reason, it's just not doing anything. And you see my dog in the background. And then we cut to um, Supergirl talks to Julia. Uh, Supergirl almost got through to her, but at the last minute, I was like, nope, <laughs> sorry. And then we cut to where Julia gets under Alex's skin, like really bad <laughs> under her skin. And then um, Alex and Supergirl argue, and then Alex is uh, doing it her way now. So she... So Alice thinks that the girl was just put on after like 10 years. And that's why she's doing what she's doing. And But um, Cara does not believe that. So then we cut to um, Monel and uh, Saturn Girl Booker. And then we cut to where Alice talks to Julia. And got underneath her skin some more to the point she was about to just go that shit crazy. <laughs> to put it simple. And uh, so then we cut to where Ruby and Sam ice skate, and then um, we cut to where Alex talks to Wynn, and then the Kryptonian stick starts to glow. And then we cut to back to Ruby and Sam ice skating, and then Sam gets that flicker in her eye and then just disappears. And then the uh, power goes out at the DO, then Purity gets loose, and then creates mayhem everywhere and it's like trying to build almost bring down the building but and then she manages to escape then John and Monel basically um, are on the ship and they're basically having um, Mars moonshine and then um, <laughs> the Monel basically um, tells him that he had a rage of marriage between Saturn Girl and him because um, it was to bring both quadrants together and as it got, um, as the years went on, he developed more real feelings for her. 
So that means like um, it got realer and realer and not, you know, like an arranged marriage type thing. It got real for him. But being here on Earth made him, um, and being around Kara, is um, is bringing up old feelings, and he doesn't know how to deal with that. And so uh, then we um, then John talks about how he did mind melds with his wife, and they literally knew every single secret or every single thing, period, about themselves. So um, they just talk about that and. Then, um, so then John says, just talk, talk about, just talk to her about what's happening and how you feel and just be honest because you like to keep secrets for, you know, for, a, for a good cause. So he said, uh, you just need to open up and just tell her how you feel. And then we cut to where uh, Ruby talks on Kalina at the ice cream ring, so they talk. And then Purity is in the subway. And then uh, Wynn made sound dampeners to help um, with the sound and the sonic screens and stuff. Because it was supposed to be only damaging to a Kryptonian. Then uh, Rain is at the fort, and she, um, the holograms, her know about Julia and tell her to go get her and then let's bring her to the fort and then Super Gold versus Purity and then it's Monel then Monel jumps in then gets knocked out then Alex talks to Purity and manages to get through to Julia and then Rain comes in and was about to literally about to kill Alex because Alex was off on her so Rain is literally about to kill her but Julia offers herself up if she lets her go so she does and they both escape and then um, we cut to where Wynn uh, fixed the ship. Basically, he, they were just overloading their circuits, and he just had to slow it down. And then Monel and Saturn Girl talk, and she has a secret on why they're really in this time period. So it wasn't some type of malfunction, whatever. They were sent to the past. But we don't know the full reason why, though. Then we cut to where Alex talks to Kara. And then we cut to where Lena talks to Sam. The Sam goes cray cray and turns into rain for a moment. Then switches back to Sam, and she did not remember what in the world she said because she was going off on Lena, and uh, she black she didn't remember any of it. Then Lena saw her eyes flicker, and she says, uh, "She says, goes, I know what's wrong with you, and I'm going to help you." And that's the end of the episode. And we gotta wait until freaking April. April. To figure out what's going to be happening for the rest of the season. So it's going to be super crazy for all that to happen. So I'm so excited about what's going to be coming up. And I'll give this episode probably an A+. I really, really enjoyed it. You get to go through different characters and um, different backstories. And di just different scenarios and stuff. And different... Um, on a different, like, touching moments between Monel and John. I really like that a lot. And it's just a bunch of stuff for how different stuff happening. And I really, really enjoy it so far. So, anyway, um, like I said, I'll give this A. Plus. I really don't have anything wrong with it, in my opinion. And uh, I'm super excited for what's going on. Anyway, I will probably will be doing, no, I definitely will do it. I'll be, try to spit some out tomorrow. Um, I've been rewatching uh, so Supergirl season one and season two, and I've been doing notes for that. So I'll probably be uh, doing those along with a bunch of other shows I got. I already lined up, I've been slammed with, I should work in again. What? So anyway, I'm doing that and just a bunch of other stuff. I'll be, of course, still be doing music. So tomorrow's my recording day. So I'll be busy. Anyway. Uh, if you like, the, that's the end of this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. What'd you think? What is your favorite part about the episode and what are you excited to see next? And also at least suggestions for other music, TV shows, or movies. And I'll see y'all in my next video. And have an awesome, awesome night. Bye, everybody.